Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wife and Christ Show, a show where we inspire the masses to become financially free without compromising their faith. You know, I can't believe we are halfway through the year. You know, literally tomorrow is the beginning of July. And for many of us, this may have been a great six months. And for, for many of us, it may have been a rough six months. You know, but despite, you know, how year a year has went so far, you know, it's important to be grateful. It's important to um, be grateful, to, um, grateful to God that you're alive. And that's what I want to talk about in this episode. Just, you know, this episode is going to be me providing questions and also answering some of these questions, um, encouraging you guys to reflect on the year you guys have, you know, to reflect, you know, on what you need to change or what you need to do better in order to have a greater second half. Now, one thing I want to stress out that we need to do is about what we are spiritually. You know, spiritually, you know, what is what is our spiritual walk? You know, what is what does our walk like look with Christ? You know, are we in our word as needed? Are we surrounded by community that, you know, that helps us grow, that encourages us to grow? You know, where are we spiritually? Do we feel like we're growing? Do we feel like we're stagnant? And if you feel stagnant in your spiritual journey, what are things you can do? Have you considered fasting? Have you considered opening your Bible more, reading your Bible more? You know, so many ways that you can and change where you are spiritually in the next half of the year. You know, and it's, and it's important to make sure you're aligned spiritually to what God is calling you. You're, you're spiritually aware of what's going around you because what your spiritual aspect, your, your spiritual life affects every other part of your life. It affects your financial, it affects your physical, and also affects your mental. So it's important for you to have a good, healthy spiritual life, you know, where you are connected with God, you understand what God's plan is for you, like you're able to, you know, hear from God clearly, you know, you're able to know, um, you're doing what he's calling you to do here in this journey of life you know and once you finalize where you are spiritually i think it's also important to look at where you are physically you know health is wealth you know that's something you guys may have heard me say before health is wealth this truly is the case you know the privilege to be alive the privilege to be in a healthy mind the privilege to move you to move your hand, to move your leg, to, be able to smell, be able to walk, be able to taste, are things that we shouldn't take for granted. And it's important for us to be mindful. Like, look back, you know, and see all the different things you ate, you consume, you know, um, your sleeping habits, you know, what, are these things that you want to change? Is there anything you want to change in that area when it comes to your physical health? You know, could you have slept better? Do you need to sleep better? You know, when you wake up, are you feeling sluggish? Are you feeling energized? And these are questions you need to ask yourself. You know, the food that you eat, you know, was it giving you energy or was it making you feel sluggish? You know, it's also important, you know, since we also have year through year, you know, um, have you been to the doctor? Have you checked in with your doctor to make sure, you know, nothing has come up, you know, or you're still on the right track? You know, you're still maintaining that healthy weight. You're still maintaining the healthy lifestyle. Because oftentimes, you know, you may look healthy outside, but inside you may look very disgusting. You know, you may look very, you know, need to get some work done. Um, And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing bad, you know, if you need to get anything, you know, get some stuff, get some treatments. You know, it's good that you realize it now, you know, then later down the line. It's always good when you realize something while you still have time to change it, you know, while you still have time to make erections to it. And this goes to also your spiritual life. You know, it's not the end of the world. You can still reconnect with Christ. Every day should be a new day where you commit, you say yes to Christ. Every day should be a new day where you commit to living your life for Christ. Every day should be a new day where you're putting God's will before your will. Every day is, should be a day where you're being mindful that of how you talk, how you engage, because you want to do everything you do to honor Christ. And to go on, you know, once you look at where you are spiritually, where you look at where you are um, physically, it's also important to look at where you are financially. You know, financially, 
Just look at your bank account. Open your bank account. Open different accounts you may have, whether it is credit card, whether it is um, student loans account. Look at it and see where you are financially. And really look at and see where you are financially. Look at things you may need to change. You know, um, look at the interest rates you're getting. Are you getting a very low interest rate? Maybe you need to consider again a high yield saving account. And that's not financial advice. You know, just my opinion. Um, you know, it's something you may need to consider. If you look at your stock portfolio, maybe it's like you realize that you missed out on a lot of gains. Maybe you need to automate the kind of how much you want to save. You maybe want you need to increase how much you um invest save into the stock market. You know, you have a lot of debt. If you have a lot of debt and you're still not um getting closer to becoming debt free, what can you do different? Is it possible you can pick up an extra shift or two? Here and there in the second half, is it possible for you to start applying? You know, before you start applying, look at your resume, editing your resume in a way that will make you attractive, make you an attractive candidate um, to get a high paying job. You know, look at your business. You know, where is your business? Where is your business currently? Are you making money or are you losing money? You know, are the products you're selling, you know, are this pe- what people want or is it not what people want? You know, what is your customer service like? Um, are people appreciative of your business? Are people giving great review on your business on Yelp and Google reviews? You know, are there, there things that you need to change in order to become profitable? You know, are you getting enough content out there, you know, to advertise? You know, are you spending too much money on advertisement? Is there, are you being too, are you running too thin? You know, is there certain um subscription do you need to cut you know whether it's for business or personal some subscriptions that many of us have that we don't use you know it may be a netflix account it may be a hulu account it may be um handling account or zoom because you don't do zoom you don't use zoom anymore you know it's so many things you know it's important to look at where your money is going how your money has been going for the past six months are you in the plus or are you in the negative to start the year out um, wait right now in the year. Are you in a plus or are you in a negative? And what can you do to, in order to continue to remain in the positive? Or what can you do to get out the negative? And lastly, but not least, is how are you doing? You know, it's a question that's often answered too quickly. I'm good. But I think it's important for us to know how we're doing mentally. You know, where are we mentally? Do you feel exhausted? Do you feel tired? Do you feel like you're not going anywhere? Do you feel like, you know, life has been lifing? Do you feel like you're doing a great job? Do you feel like you're accomplishing the goals that you need to accomplish? Do you feel like this was the best six months you ever had? Do you feel like too many things are going right for you? Do you feel like it's what you've been praying for? Or do you also feel like why me? And all these feelings are all acceptable and it's okay to feel. It's all okay to feel. But you know, one thing you know, I want to encourage us, especially when it comes to mentally, and I try to remind myself, you don't want to get too high or you don't want to get too low. You never know when the seasons are going to change. And you want to make sure you're able to stay level-minded so you don't get overwhelmed or you don't you know become prideful um or you you know get into your ego and just stay level-headed you know that way you can see situations for what they are you can make smarter decisions you can make more wiser decisions and you know i want to end up with this you know when it comes to mentally you know take time take time away from social media take time away um from work you know take a mental health day that could be me. That could be you just going to the park, taking some shots. That could be you going on vacation. That could be you uh, taking yourself on a date. You know, that's 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 really, you know, that's something you can really do. Like, how are you doing? And for me, I would answer this question here. Like, you know, I'm doing great. You know, this has been a great, been ups, it's been a good six months. I will say great. It has been a good six months. You know, I lost a couple of friends. Um, 
friendships, losing friendships, um, having a lot of different financial opportunities has been great. Uh, I'm very comfortable where I am right now, and I'm looking forward to more that, that life has to offer. You know, um, definitely going to take more time and prior, prioritizing myself. So that's more solo trips, more solo dates, you know, um, and just taking care of myself. You know, you only get one of you. And I think that's something I want I want to understand. You only get one of you. You know, there's not another you only get one of you. Like that's the real truth. You really only get one of you and it's important that you take care of you. Is is your priority to take care of you. If you was if today was supposed to be your last day, and you say that you took care of you. When you take care of you and you um are working at your maximum potential. You were able to help people better. You were able to love people better. You were able to just be a better human being. You know, so this video was just to have us really look back, you know, reflect. I know it was very easy to get caught up in different goals or different objectives or different missions or different, whatever it may be that we're trying to accomplish this year. But it's important for us to reflect. It's important for us to go back to the drawing board and see what we need to change. It's important for us to see or what we need to adapt to, what we need to let go of. You know, there's certain things we just need to let go of. But it's not helping us. It's dying and it's affecting us. And we think of like spoiled um, fruit. You know, you can have one spoiled banana and every other banana around it can be fresh. But over time, that spoiled banana will start to affect the other healthy bananas and everything will become spoiled. So if something is draining you, if something is, you know, constantly making you unhappy, whether it be friendship, whether it's a job, whether, you know, certain things that you're doing, you find yourself in a certain situation, it's, it's time for you to let go. It's time for you to evaluate the kind of friendships that you're holding on to. Are these friendships helping you? Are these friendships encouraging you? Are these friendships... Um, allowing you to grow, to become the person God has called you to become? Or are these friendships derailing you? You know, is your job, you know, affecting your mental health where you don't have time to take care of yourself? Take care of yourself? You know, or maybe you need to set some boundaries. You know, maybe you need to set some boundaries. And if you have boundaries, maybe you need to reestablish your, bound your boundaries. You know, financially, you know, maybe you need to... Put your credit card in water and put it in, in the freezer. Maybe you don't have that self-control to not spend. Maybe you need to cut it up. Maybe it's time for you to edit your resume so you can get that job that you, you've been wanting for, that you wanted to apply to. Maybe it's time for you to start that budget. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time for you to take that trip that you want to take. Maybe it's that time. Maybe it's, it's now the time to invest. The best time to invest was yesterday, but today is also a great time to invest. So maybe it's time. So I hope this bless you guys. I hope this encourage you guys. I want to end up with this scripture, which is Ecclesiastic 3, 1 to 8. And it states, For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a, di a time to plant, a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill, a time to heal. A time to break down, a time to build, to build up, a time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, a time to dance, a time to throw away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, a time to refrain from embracing, a time to see, a time to lose, a time to keep, a time to throw away, a time to tear, a time to seal, a time to keep silent. A time to speak, a time to love, a time to hate, a time for war, a time for peace. As we go through the remaining six months left, you know, I want for us to be mindful of the season that we're in. I want for us to reflect on this scripture, you know, I just read and identify where we are. You know, where are we in this? Where are we in life? You know, what season is it for us? Is it for time for us to be planted? 
Is it time for us to be reaping the fruit that we planted? Is it time for us to be investing, you know, doing things that can benefit us down the line? Or is it time for us to enjoy the labor of our labor? As always, you know, I hope this blessed you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. You know, you guys can comment down below anything you, you would love for me to talk about in the next episode. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Stay blessed and remain blessed, guys. Peace out.